This is a quick demonstration of EMC Project Razor, a cool idea developed internally uh, that will be really applicable to lots of customers. Razor is a server that allows you to, uh, using a microkernel, uh, bring up almost any host and uh, automatically do a bare metal configuration, bring it up, and then integrate it into Puppet. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, notice that a whole bunch of hosts are booting up, and as they boot up, they're booting the microkernel, the microkernel uh, via Pixie, by the way. Uh, the microkernel then uh, connects it to the Razor server using uh, DHCP advanced properties, and you can see that we're grabbing all sorts of data uh, from the BMC chip on the individual host. So this is, a, for example, a Dell host. Um, if we take a look, you can see all sorts of details about disks and processors and all that sort of stuff. Um, now, if we go and we take a look at another one of the hosts, we'll see that uh, it's uh, a different type. So, for example, if we take a look at this one, um, we'll see that it's a, a, a different type of host, in this case, a Cisco UCS server. So the first big idea here is that obviously this is very, very open. You'll notice that we can tag the servers, so there we tag them with names, so we can identify the servers into various different classes. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach the Razor uh, server into a uh, uh, Puppet via a broker. Again, uh, Razor is very, very modular, so uh, you could have all sorts of different uh, brokers that you could integrate into, and you'll notice that the whole design of this is designed to be uh, really around that DevOps principle of everything should be... Uh, uh, very easy to uh, script and uh, scale up. And notice that there's also various models. So here we've loaded up several models to uh, blam onto those hosts uh, vSphere 5, uh, but uh, there are already models for uh, generic Linux builds, OpenStack builds, uh, um, and things along those lines. So here what we've done is we've now added a template and we've said, okay, the UCS, any UCS host that comes up uh, let's use uh, the template of the VMware hypervisor and let's call it a gold policy. And now we have two policies. Now if we open up Puppet Enterprise, and Puppet Enterprise is really the leading, uh, you know, kind of IT automation tool used by most of the major cloud vendors, you'll notice that uh, the ESX hosts, gold and silver, are now starting to automatically populate. Um, at this point, you could use Puppet to do pretty well anything. Um, what we're going to do in this particular example is we're going to go and we're going to take those ESX hosts and turn them into a vSphere cluster. So uh, you'll notice that uh, the uh, handoff between Puppet and Razor has occurred there. Uh, these various hosts have been uh, built in. And now what we're going to use is we're going to use Puppet and we're going to say, look, let's, uh, let's create a vCenter server. Um, we're going to use the vCenter class and obviously we're going to need a SQL server a class installed on there because uh, vCenter has got a dependency and uh, very quickly and easily it's going to start the process of uh, uh, installing the vCenter uh, onto an individual host. We'll run the uh, Puppet agent which uh, you know manages all of this as a background process and off it goes. So uh, now what's occurring is the vCenter server is being built and um, as soon as the vCenter server is built uh, we can use Puppet to automatically create uh, uh, all of the necessary requisite objects to uh, create our clusters. So here you can see the vCenter uh, host is currently uh, installing and uh, it's going to be ready very, very shortly. And uh, as soon as that's done, um, we'll be able to go and see that uh, we can log into vCenter just like we would normally. But again, the whole thing here is that this has been done completely from bare metal and completely in an automated way. So here we are now in vCenter, and if we uh, log into uh, the vSphere client, we can see what's going on in terms of the cluster that's automatically been constructed. So this takes some of the value proposition that we've been doing around very tightly integrated converged infrastructures with uh, vBlock, and uh, we're contributing this to the open source community and people will be able to use Puppet um, to do uh, much of the same thing on all sorts of different infrastructures. So here you can see that a gold cluster is being automatically created using all the UCS blades because they've got the gold template. And here you can see the silver cluster is being constructed in this case out of HP blades. Um, and uh, you'll notice that uh, everything has been done almost completely automatically. So simple and easy and automated. Uh, completely scriptable and completely open.